at this time, my dear friends, um, we'll go into our meditation. Um, so if you can prepare the mind, try to sit in a comfortable position. Put your hands on your thighs or any mudra you might like to um, choose to take on. Let's start with breathing deeply. Take a deep breath in. Try to go up to six or four. Hold it for two. Exhale, breathe in again, one, two, three, four, hold it, hold it, exhale, we'll do this one more time, breathe in, hold it, exhale, all right, keep the eyes closed. Your breathing should be easier now and more comfortable. Keep the eyes closed and imagine Imagine that you're walking through A beautiful open field. As you go through, as you get closer to this field, the wind is so cool and calm and it's brushing past your face. You're feeling the coolness, the chill of the wind. And you realize that this is a flower field with most beautiful flowers. The scent of the flowers. The blue sky above you. The slightly warm sun rays. As you're sauntering through the flower beds on both sides of you. Leisurely you're walking, you're having a stroll, and the aroma is breathtaking. But you can see the flowers, the yellow daffodils. and the sunflowers, the white lilies, the pink orchids, multicolored tulips, and roses, and lavender. The flowers abound all around you in this most beautiful garden. Everywhere you look there is a riot of colors. Blossom filled beds of flowers, and you're stunned by the breathtaking beauty of the environment you're in. You've forgotten everything about the world, and you're enjoying and soaking in and consuming this beauty that you've never experienced before. The fragrance is overpowering. The fragrance is so strong that it conquers all other scents you have ever experienced. 
you love the tinkling of the wind chimes and the birds chirping, the burbling waterfalls, and the plants gently rustling in the wind, the beautiful butterflies fluttering gracefully all around you, a multiplicity of colors. You've forgotten that you're a human being who lives here. You've never seen anything so beautiful. As you continue to walk, you notice ahead of you, you're approaching a huge clump of trees. You're walking by the flower beds and you're approaching this huge tree. It's a banyan tree. And while you're approaching the banyan tree, you hear a symphonic voice. You decided to look under the tree. Is there someone there? When you look, you've seen this very hypnotic movement the beauty of the walking of Bhagawan and you've decided this is not any ordinary human being. You get closer. You're pleasantly surprised that Kanhaya, Sri Radha Krishna or your favorite form of God is under the banyan tree where it's so clean comfortable chairs thick cushions the grass is soft almost like a sponge under the banyan tree you've reached there and Bhagavan is there Sri so Krishna Reminds us in Bhagavad Gita, Ashwattaha Sarvavrikyanam Devarishnam Chanarada, first 26 of chapter 10. Kandaya says that amongst all trees, I am the Ashwattaha, I am the Banyan tree, the people tree, as we call it. You've reached under this people tree. You are standing in front of Bhagwan, and he walks up to you and he puts his arm around you. You've never experienced a feeling like that. There's no weight on your shoulder, but it feels like that cool breeze that was brushing your shoulders while you are walking in. When you look all around you, there are beautiful fruit trees around this huge banyan tree. Kanaya, your favorite form of God, has his arm around you and is pointing out to you the different trees, the different fruits. Kandaya loved trees. He used to be on top of the trees to make trouble with the gopis. Hanumanji jumped down from a tree to meet Mata Sita sent by Bhagavan Sri Ram. You remember the scene. All around this banyan tree there are fruit trees. Some with fruit, some without fruit. You're gazing at the beauty. You're looking at the fruits. Bhagwan's hand is over your shoulder. These fruits have different colors. Bhagwan is explaining to you the significance of the different colors and the different tastes. The different tastes represent, my dear child, my dear friend, the Lord is saying these different tastes represent the different temperatures. 
the different vicissitudes in life, the struggles, the happy moments, the successes, the failures, the union, the separation, the profits, the loss. God is saying to you that all these different tastes represent the different tastes we experience in life, the different colors. My child, they, remember, they represent the three gunas. The dark colored ones represent darkness or evil. The really bright colored ones represent Rajogun, a mixture of good and of evil. The light colored ones, they represent Satogun, goodness, charity, selflessness, etc. Bhagavan is explaining to you the meaning of the different colors, the meaning of the different tastes. He is reminding you to choose the sweet fruits only, like a parrot. Bhagavat Mahapuran Nidamaka Patarogalitam Phalam Shukamukadamrita Dravasanitam Pivata Bhagavatam Rasamalayam Muraho Rasika Bhavibhavaka Bhagavan says, like the parrot, choose the galitam, the fully matured fruit, choose the sweetest, palam, the sweetest fruits. The shade, Bhagavan is saying, don't worry about the different vicissitudes in life, don't worry about the different experiences you may have in life, just think about one thing only, and this one thing is that if you keep under the banyan tree, if you stay under the tree, meaning Sri Krishna Sharanam Mama. Sharanam means a shelter. If you continue to take the shelter of this banyan tree, if you continue to take my shelter, then the reactions, the different seasons, and the attitudes, the developments that happen in the world constantly would not bother you. They will not bother your mindset. They will not affect you negatively because you'll be brimful of confidence that you're under the banyan tree, you're under the peepal tree, you're under the tree, the shade of Bhagwan, and he'll take care of everything. Dear Lord, I thank you so much for this opportunity to be with you today. Bhagwan says, give me an embrace. And you embrace Bhagawan and you're feeling, you're feeling this divine touch of ecstasy as this energy runs through your body from head to toe. You're grateful and you're relishing in this embrace. You don't want it to stop. Enjoy the embrace of Bhagawan while we close. <laughs> Shanti Shanti Shanti